Today we are joined by Jada McKnight, Junior Student Spotlight winner for the month of November. So Jada, you're certainly a very well-rounded student. You are in all honors and AP classes, member of multiple clubs, a varsity athlete, and an overall prominent student leader in the Middletown North community. So can you talk about what your involvements are at North, like your classes and clubs and sports? Yeah, so um, first thing that comes to mind would probably be sports. Um, I joined track and field for the winter and spring season in my freshman year. And I never played it before and I just really liked it. And Coach Calvin is just like a really good coach to begin with. So um, he really made me fall in love with that. But my classes for this year, of course it's junior year. So you're bulking up on the class mode, um, taking AP Physics, AP Chem, AP Calc, and and there's one other one. I'm not, I don't know why I can't think of it right now, but um, yeah, just focusing on my studies and stuff like that. I'm involved with diversity club and math team at North. Um, yeah, and they're just really two clubs that I love to be a part of, you know, be a part of something bigger. And yeah, I would say that's it. <laughs> so I know personally, sometimes it could be difficult to find a balance between like school and extracurricular and social life. So how do you find a balance for all of it? What I try to do personally, like, I just find it's easier if I can put my studies, if I can break them apart a little bit. So if I do a bulk of something tonight, then I'll have time to like spend with my friends the other night. It's really just about time management. And I know it might seem like dumb, but like even if you have like 10 extra minutes, like I would always suggest you be doing something. <laughs> so why do you enjoy? It's like a love hate thing, you know? <laughs> like, have you ever had one of those classes? Like, I love, Honestly, all of my teachers are doing a really good job at like trying to incorporate this whole all virtual thing, like being totally understanding and I'm really appreciative of that. But I do find myself like enjoying like sometimes the challenge of like finding something new or like understanding something. And I think that it can be really rewarding and even though it does get really like hard at times or maybe even like a little bit frustrating, I feel like Honestly, at the end of it, at the end of the day, you could be like, I did that. And then, I don't know, it's just a good feeling. Mm -hmm. Do you have any specific stories where, um, like you were struggling, but you pushed through that you want to share? Well, since we're at the, oh, we're at the beginning of the second marking period now. So mm -hmm. I know there was like one week, I would say like one week to like one and a half weeks where it was just like work on top of work on top of work. Like there were no off days. And it was like Wednesday and like, you know, Wednesday's like kind of far from Friday, but you're like stuck right in the middle of the week. And I was like drowning in work, but I was like, you just have to like do it. Like you just have to put your head down just for a few hours and do it. And I just like knocked it all out, but it took so long. And I was like, we're only in the middle of the marking period. But honestly, now that it's at the end, like I feel really accomplished that like I could do things like that. So. Yeah, I relate. <laughs> there was like one week where it was like, I was just completely overwhelmed with work. I was so terrified. I was scared. I was like, but we got through it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what are some of your major accomplishments? I know that you won last year the Hobie Award. Is that oh, Hobie? yeah, I did. And I got to attend their like virtual, um, what you call it? like their whole virtual thing on what they did every year instead of actually going to the conference. Um, and even that was so cool. They got so many different people to like come on this one meet. And I found myself like just really enjoying being there even though it wasn't in person. Like the experience of going to Keene College would have been like really cool and obviously like good experience, but I still really enjoyed myself with that. What, um was there like an interview process for the Hobie Award thing? Oh yeah, they selected a few of us um, from just the sophomore grade at that time. And they told us about it like a week to two weeks in advance. And they were like, just research, you know, look into this and then come back and get ready to be interviewed. And I didn't even know what we were gonna be interviewed about. And it was funny cause I put down on like my resume, like I was expecting them wanting to get more academic things, but I put down that I work at Mimom, that I worked at Mimoms. And as soon as I sat down, they were like, 
so we saw that you work at me moms and i was like why are we i was like why are we talking about this right now and then they went into how like they knew the owners and like my manager and everything and it was just really cool like the interview process like it was a little bit nerve-wracking because it was so professional but at the same time like dr cartier was so understanding so what are your plans for the future like with college and stuff i'm trying to look into colleges now but i'm trying to focus my major more into like finance so maybe like accounting or something like that but i'm still trying to like fine-tune all of that i'm not 100 percent sure what are some of your other interests other than like school? Um, I like drawing and I like movies and I like hanging out with my friends, but like I think every teenager does. Mm -hmm. Um, what else do I like? Drawing movies, Netflix. <laughs> uh that's really about it right now. <laughs> um, so that's all my questions. So is there anything else you would like to um I'm really grateful that I got nominated for this, and I'm really grateful that you guys are taking time to interview me today. So thank you for that. Of course. <laughs> thank you for joining me. Thank you.